What up mates? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am David Semerad. I'm Gwen Semerad. <laughs> so where do we begin? Um, yeah, and welcome back to our channel guys. Um, today we have a special video prepared for you guys. It is a birth vlog of our labor for Cooper. Um, the truth the about truth. giving birth. About giving birth. <laughs> the truth, guys. Uh, where do we begin? Um, it was long. It was really long and painful. 19 hours yeah, of we labor. Were in, yeah, we were in the hospital for 19 hours. I felt contractions for days. Like 24 hours before that. Yeah. Um, but in the end, it was all worth it. So, you know, Baby we just want to share with you our experience of the whole shebang. <laughs> Uh, Enjoy! Enjoy guys, take care, have fun, and God bless. Hi guys, so today we are August 14 and I started feeling contractions from 3 a.m. this morning and then around 6 a.m. they were extremely strong and consistent and then biglang Around 10 a.m., they just kind of trickled down. Now it's not as painful anymore. Now it's 5.30 p.m. And parang, parang wala na. It's not as bad as this morning. Like, this morning I took a shower na. Um, we were ready to go to the hospital. Our bags are all in the, all in the car. And then, biglang, wala na. So, now I'm just waiting at home. Like, I can't wait. Cooper, can you come out already? And I'm so swollen. Oh, my God. Cannot explain how my feet are like Fiona's feet. And my face... Like my doctor saw me last yesterday and she was not happy. She was like, Gwen, you need to give birth now or else you're gonna get hypertension. Like my edema dough is crazy. Hey guys, we are here in the elevator. We're all here. Mama, we're all Papa, packed. We've got Papa. the zones. <laughs> we're ready to go. <laughs> we're ready to go. How are you feeling, Gwen? All right. Okay. We're heading to the car now and we're gonna be heading to the, to the hospital. Hi guys. We are now on the way to the hospital. Um, it is, what's our time check? Time check is? So 1.04. 1.04 a.m. on the uh, morning of the 15th of August. I said 2.24 <laughs> a.m. delivery. That's my, that's my call. They've been betting for a few I'm days now. I'm calling 3 a.m. Um, Yun, so contractions uh -huh. were consistent for the past almost 24 hours and it's just the last what how long was our walk our uh, walk was about uh, like 11 p.m. to midnight that's when it started consistently now but it's like a consistent running pain that's just about 50 minutes ago it was about every two and a half minutes apart that's why I cancel my boxing tomorrow morning <laughs> Okay, so and then there's discharge. That's one thing no one warned me about. The mucus bloody yeah, discharge. Like, I was <clears throat> pleasantly surprised. Yeah. So Yon, we're on the way to the hospital. Oh, 
We're waiting for we're waiting for a nurse nurse. A nurse J J to pick us up. Yeah. Did she say you have to wait for stronger contraction? No. Wait for the nurse to pick one up. But how do you feel? Uh, ouch. Still managing to hold the camera. <laughs> the strength of a woman. <laughs> the fat is patiently waiting. At the low low, also the grandfather is waiting. So I just got sedated. Uh, we're waiting in the labor area of the hospital. Um, they're gonna put medicine to open my cervix to dilate it more. And then apparently I should be giving birth in the morning how you doing baby uh, and i'm doing what a husband would do is be beside the wife while she's going in labor so um so you guys at least the man we're in the labor room um High risk pregnancy, at least look. I can lie down. Uh, we can't get our room yet. So, uh, what happens is you go here and you're in the labor room and you just wait. And then, until you're ready to give birth, you go to the OR. Then, Gwen will go first, then I'll follow so I can watch the baby come out and our baby come out and cut the cord. And then after that, that's when they will give you your private room. So you, you don't get your private room straight away. Hey guys, I admitted Gwen. I did all the paperwork and uh, admitted her in. And I thought I'd get a sneaky meal in because it's going to be a bit of a wait. So I got some egg, rice, some beef steak at the cafeteria. Can't go wrong with a solid meal. I'm back in... Um, the room with Gwen. She's having still a few contractions every now and then. As you can see, she's knocked out. Anywho, going back to that meal, I didn't know there was a cafeteria here. That meal was 160 pesos. I had two rice, two eggs, and some beefsteak. It was beautiful. Uh... This is my first time experiencing all of this, and it's a grueling process, but fun, tiring, but fun, excited because, you know, you, uh, I know my baby boy is going to be coming out in a bit. This was my bed last night, so I am feeling pretty drained. Let's go to our patient. How are you, baby? How are you feeling? Tired. Tired. Contractions. Uh, any last words, baby? <laughs> Come on, Cooper. Hey, Gwen. So, guys, um, we waited twenty hours and we couldn't have the natural birth, so. We have to go for the C-section, so I'm waiting here and um, I'm going to be seeing Gwen and the baby in a bit. 
So, pretty excited. Um, it didn't go how we planned, but the baby's safe and healthy, so that's all that matters. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Cooper. How are you? You big boy. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Baby Cooper is born. I was able to hold him and have some pictures with him in the labor room, but now I'm currently waiting for Gwen in uh, the suite. I finally was able to have a shower, unwind and relax. See, Kuya Tony, Anthony, Uncle Anthony is here with me. Hi guys. We're just waiting for Gwen to come back and baby Cooper so Anthony can meet baby Cooper for the first time as well and he can meet his uncle. Um. <laughs> He's happy with a full tummy. My tummy is about to be full. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Is he cross eyed? Good morning. He doesn't know how to use his eyes yet. Shh. Everything's going fine and got beautiful bunny here. Uh, the feeling of being a dad is incredible. And when people said catch up on your sleep, I didn't understand, but now I do. Day two of Cooper and we're truly blessed. Thank you guys for following our journey. It's, uh, we appreciate it and hopefully you guys can learn something from it too. If you haven't had a kid as well, but we're learning a lot each day and um, it's truly a blessing. Yeah. He's camera shy. Cooper! You cried a lot, guys. Cooper! Big workout. Cooper! Oh, there we go. Cooper! Hey, Nako. Maybe not scream. <laughs> Good morning.